If you've spent any time in Bloomtown, you already know that we're home to a remarkable variety of both people and plant life. In this episode, we'll discover a flower so rare and inspiring that you'll wish we could propagate her. This is Naomi and the Fairy Garden. Would you consider yourself fairy-like? No. No, but I'm a believer. I don't think I look like a fairy nor act like one, but when you believe in fairies, anything is possible. And so, yes, that part of me is a fairy. Somebody I've never met anybody like her before. Yeah, Naomi, I mean, she was so obviously creative. First thing you see is purple. It's incredible. I'll be 89 in January, and I don't feel any different than when I was probably 20. I want it big enough now that I can go up those stairs <laughs> and into the castle. I don't know if that'd be quite a fairy garden anymore, <laughs> but... Fairy gardening was when we first really started picking up steam, it seemed like it could be just a trend and, and maybe start waning at some point, but it just hasn't done that yet, and it's been years now. I, I guess, in a way, I sort of always grew up with the magic of what could be. My uh, grandmother, she would uh, read these Grimm's fairy tales to us, and my goodness, we could have lasted for uh, hours in there. And oh, don't stop, don't stop. You had good fairies, but also I know that some of them are nasty little things. <laughs> but they're not mean. They think it's funny that they play little tricks on you, you know. We're going to be making a kind of a cracked pot fairy garden, okay. which is really fun because you get to wham a hammer on a, to a pot, get a little stress I, out. Well, would you like to do the honors with the hammer? Oh, oh my God, <laughs> I'm more of a fixer than a strawberry. <laughs> okay, I'll crack it. Here goes nothing. Try one more here. Oh. One casualty. This one might not be a. I mean, I could make this work, but I, it's not going to be quite photogenic. But don't worry, we're going to come up with something. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this one's solid. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one's going to work. Do one more. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing we need to do is we just need to like build up the soil a bit. So we do need a couple pieces that you have to sort of use as like retaining walls, if you will. I'm being too nice. <laughs> That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> I know, it's fun, kind of, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Once you get the hang of it, where you're going. You're right. You, know. you keep going. <laughs> yeah. So the next step is you get want to put the soil into the pot. So once you kind of get a good layer in, it's good to start kind of putting in, like I said, like a retaining wall of sorts. You know, this is where you just sort of start playing around and kind of figuring yep. out your, stru your structure. I'm kind of lost at this point. <laughs> The fun part about fairy gardening is that it's a lot of playing oh, around. <laughs> and you can do almost anything now with them. I mean, they have little fountains, walkways. I mean, you can make a whole entire yard in just a little space. Now, this could be my dick. <laughs> it leads you right on up to the very <laughs> top of it. It does. So the next step would be to pick out the plant. This is what's so great about this. using the like, ground cover type plant is you can just pull it apart like that. So I think how fun would it be if we did something like this? If we put like this and had it planting right here so it would oh, stick out the side like gorgeous, that. Gorgeous, absolutely. Like, this is sort of kind of in the succulent vein. Yes. I think we probably should stick with plants like this yes. so that the watering is all the same. This one's really fun. This is the ice plant. Isn't that cute? It's got this nice little green mat, and then in the springtime, you'll get yellow flowers on oh. it. 
down. I've always loved easy to grow things because I really am not that good a <laughs> gardener. I wish I were, but uh, I, I get it. At least I'm satisfied with it. And so <laughs> it brings joy to me to see something grow, and especially if I succeed. Here we go. Put this right in there. We can put this right here. And I'll put it in a very special place. Fairy garden. Yes. She's just very sure in herself and doesn't care what other people think, which is, you know, you don't see many people like that, which is really nice. My goodness, I learned today all of these beautiful ground covers. And I'm very happy that I've done something. Something that is pretty, something that is contenting, makes you glad you're here. Of course, your age, if you want to, you can use it as an excuse, but I don't see much sense in that. I've had a lot of failures. That don't stop me. <laughs> is there a tomorrow? Yes. So we'll keep right on trying. Ha <laughs>